People sure like to make vlogs. Some make a lot. Some make a couple here and there. Some make one every couple hundred years. That would be my case. I don't make them very frequently. I don't like to get into a spot where I'm making a lot of vlogs because then I feel like it's too easy. There's very minimal editing involved and I get too much in a comfort zone and I'm not as inclined to go make my full episodes. But some people work differently than I do. Some people also think that I make more vlogs than anything else. I call those people the agony booth. I also call that burning a bridge. But I'm not here to tell you about me. I've got a little story about a nasty freak. No, it's not Blowjob Betty. It's Bad Milo. Bad Milo is a recent independent horror comedy about a man who becomes so overwhelmed with stress that he creates a monster in his ass that deals with his stress by coming out of his ass and killing the people that cause him said stress. It's about a butt monster. It's about a monster that lives in a man's bum. The stress of this man's life becomes so unbearable that his colon creates a monster. This film is like if you took Basket Case and Gremlins and put them together, but added more ass. That's actually pretty much exactly what it is, because Bad Milo himself, really, the, the monster, the butt monster, the ass gremlin, is, is much like a mogwai, in a way, if it were melted with the same toxic chemical shit as the dude from Robocop. And then it's like Basket Case, in a way, that the thing is, like, really disgruntled and yells... One of my favorite scenes is when the main character first comes face to face with the monster that lives in his ass. What is that? And I like this because it reminds me of a particular scene from Basket Case. I'm probably not doing much to sell anybody on this movie, so I'll do my best to highlight certain things, certain actors, certain plot points, and maybe get you to follow along and then check this movie out because you really should support independent feature films because a lot of them are cooler than shit we're seeing in theaters nowadays. One, it's got David Putty from Seinfeld. I can't remember his name because I'm a bad person. He's really funny in it. He plays the main character's boss. He's, you know, one of his reasons for the high level of stress that he has. He uh, he puts him in charge of laying people off, and that doesn't work because he's a really nice guy, and he makes him work in a in a bathroom. He turns his office into a bathroom and forces him to work with this fat guy. Milo eats the fat guy later. It's pretty awesome. It's also got, um, uh... You know, that dude that feeds Steve Buscemi into the wood chipper in Fargo? See, this is why I script my actual episodes, because I forget shit like this. And if I know the names of certain actors, it makes me sound really smart. Right now, I sound like a dumbass. But he's in it, and he's great. He's this, like, new-age therapist that the main character, played by Ken Marino, who is a really funny dude. Um, I think, actually, the only movie I remember seeing him in is uh, Role Models with uh, Sean William Scott and Paul Rudd, and he plays the douchey stepdad of that kid that plays McLovin. I'm a real movie fan, aren't I? I don't remember shit. But Ken Marino is really good in this movie. He is impeccable comedic timing. He's really good at playing just an utterly disgruntled, stressed out guy. And for some reason to me, that's the funniest brand of humor. I don't I don't know why. Maybe maybe I take pleasure in others suffering. Ken Marino goes to see the dude from Fargo at first just because, you know, his wife wants him to see a therapist and just talk things out and talk about his stress. He's having stomach problems. And it's in Fargo dude's office that he first comes face to face with Milo because he he hypnotizes him and and during 
Though I think I was probably nearing about the end of it anyway. I think I've said about as much as can be said about a movie like Bad Milo. It's a very 80s-style creature feature about a monster that lives in a man's butt, and there's a lot of heart to the movie. It's It's got a strong family message and a, and a strong message about you know just being happy, you know, keeping your stress under control. Otherwise, a monster might form in your bum. I mean, I think that's, that's perfectly good advice to really take into your heart, to really take to heart, I think. In all seriousness, though, really, if, if you're a fan of movies like Gremlins or Basket Case and you appreciate animatronics over CG, then definitely check out Bad Milo. I mean, it's got great performances, it's really funny, it even has some great genuine horror elements to it. It's pretty gory, the pacing is solid, it's actually quite suspenseful at times. How the hell do Spoonie and Cinema Snob go for like two hours talking about one movie? I guess it's because they have cameras that run for longer than nine minutes. I'm gonna assume that's the case. Peter needs a haircut. Or, you know, maybe I need the opposite. Maybe I need to just grow it way the fuck out. Like Stallone in Rambo 3. I never know where to end these things. This is why I hate making vlogs. The camera runs out of batteries. I'm always thinking about what to say. Never know where to end it. Never know how to start it. I guess this is a good place to cut it off. She's the kind of girl you think about in bed. Blow job, Betty, give him real good head. Bust a left nut, right nut in her jaw. Spine on her cheeks is all you saw. She can blow. Stop it!